Hello everyone, it's that time again to update you with the top 5 best way to make gil. So number 5 I would say is still the gardening stuff. Growing Cloud's Breath will get you Cloud's Breath which you can uh, use to craft the flying chairs and sell them. And g growing uh, Jute you can use the Jew to craft large woven rugs. That would all sell really well still. I haven't sold many cause only because I wasn't active in undercutting them lately, but they still sell really well. Thavnarian onion seeds, they have gone down in price, but I would say save your Thavnarian onions. Grow them now, but don't sell them yet. Save it for the next expansion. Uh, starting of every expansion, people start using their chocobos again. And uh, selling Thavnarian onions will be... The, the price, the demand will really increase high. And the price of Thavnarian onions will go back to the 400k range. So uh, be sure to grow Thavnarian onions for first and foremost. And well, in the process of growing Thavnarian onions, you can get you to sell the large woven rocks. I have a old gardening guide. It's still relevant, but it's old. Uh, but I will link it in the video description if you don't know how to garden yet. But it's really simple. So yeah, that's number 5. Number 4 would be selling the latest crafter and gatherer set. Now be sure to not craft the uh, main hands because most people I think are using the relic. Besides the relic will be the best one next patch. Next update it will be the best one so... Just do the offhand and the left side gear and accessories. Those that I think is still selling well if we look at the sale history. Wow, someone sold. That's probably they sold it pentamelded, but the normal price should be around this one. Alright, so focus on the accessories and left side for number 4, the Ace of Acefet's gear, or whatever it's called. Number three would be selling Grand Company dailies and uh, quest handings, crafter quest handings. Just to name a couple, just to give a couple of, of examples. For example, uh, a Damantide Lorica offending. Look at that. Cobalt winglet, Cobalt knuckles and so on. These are really good because some people are lazy, they do they won't craft their own stuff for the quest handings. They would rather buy them. And I will leave in the video description a link for all possible Grand Company handings that you can have for all level ranges of all all classes. So you can just check that and see which level range you can make. Just check your market board and check every level range, see what's selling the best. But yeah, these are really good. These are, these are always good because there will always be people leveling up, there will always be people who are looking for a short way to level up and hand in their Grand Company dailies to get a quick daily XP from the Grand Company because the Grand Company dailies give insane amount of XP. Even with Ishgar Restoration being a very good way to level, the Grand Company dailies are still really good to do. So I would I would rate this number 3. If you really invest the time into looking up all of the important ones, like for example, a Diamantine Winglet is for level 60 quest, and Cobalt Winglet is for level 50 quest, I believe. So those... Those are really good. And number two best way to make guild would be selling the Exarchic stuff. The 5.4 craftable battle gear that just came out. Now prices have dropped a lot ever since the patch dropped. But they're still selling really well. So if you invest the time and try to get the materials on your own and not buy the materials. You can still make really good profit. 
Maybe not do the weapons since relic is easy to get, but maybe focus on the left side gear and accessories. They're selling really good. If we look at the sale history. Even the weapons actually do sell if we look at the sale history, so just just craft these and sell them. I would rate this num number two, no doubt. Like in one month's time after I, I make this video, they probably drop the price even more. Maybe this will become number three best way to make gil and the Grand Company dailies will become number two instead. But for now, I would say this is the number two best way to make gil, selling the Exarchy battle gear. And number one best way to make gil, in my opinion, is selling the potions and food for raiding now grade 4 potions just came out grade 4 tinctures just came out there will always be people raiding and wanting to buy them that can't craft their own as you can see it's selling real like candy look at that as a nine stack of 93 sold for 6k each for example wow just today this page is just a sale history just for today so if you have the time to macro craft all day this is truly the best way to make gil at the moment selling the great four tinctures let's look at, look at the new food they added as well i can just name a few quickly that is good we're looking for stuff that gives direct hit and critical hit or critical hit and determination or critical hit and spell speed for the mages this one is really good twilight popoto salad that's a really good one determination critical hit smoked chicken this is a new food as well if we we'll take a look at the hq it gives insane amount of stat ups a lot of determination and crit so I would say the smoked chicken is the new food to sell without a doubt in my head this is really good food I don't know if any classes prefer skill speed uh, I'm not up to date with how good the stats are for each class nowadays but however I am sure that always the crit and determination is always sought after by all classes so it's really good. You or you might prefer direct hit and determination. So there are options. Just make a few of them. I'll just check out check the sale history for the food, and you can see how well it sells. Let's take a look at smoked chicken. Just like that. As you can see, it's favorited by a lot of people. See, the heart is gold. And just and the sale history is just for today. This is just for today. It's selling like candy. So yeah, food and potion is number one, and it's probably gonna stay number one for the rest of the expansion. So try to get the materials yourself to maximize your profit and go for it. If you have a, if you are watching Netflix, you can macro craft all day and watch shows and what, what not. You can make a lot of gil. So yeah, there you go. That's the top 5 best way to make gil that I feel is the top 5. That I w If I were to sit down and make gil, this would be my top 5. And I would do a bit of all of them, especially number 2 and number 1. So I hope you find it helpful. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe and share the video. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.